In the quaint town of Lake City, Florida, a heart-wrenching tragedy occurred in 1978 that marked the end of a notorious serial killer's reign of terror. In this episode, I will delve into the disturbing and very sad story of 12-year-old Kimberly Leach, the last known victim of Ted Bundy. Her life was mercilessly taken away by Bundy, who was responsible for the murders of at least 30 young women and girls during the 1970s. This episode will be shorter than my usual stories, as I'm aiming to bring attention to the often overlooked final victim. In January 1978, authorities in Tallahassee were investigating the brutal attacks on five Florida State University students, which left two sorority sisters dead and three other women severely injured. In the midst of this, a child vanished in a town about 90 miles east. 12-year-old Kimberly Leach, a seventh grader in Lake City, Florida, went missing in the middle of the school day from Lake City Junior High School on February 9, 1978, after leaving her homeroom to retrieve her purse from another classroom. A childhood friend and classmate, Lisa Little, recalls that it was a rainy, drizzly, and dreary day. She went to their designated meeting spot to go to their next class together, but Kimberly wasn't there. Another friend, Sherry Roberts McKinley, says that she and her friends immediately sensed something was wrong, as Kimberly was not the type of student to skip class or leave school grounds. At 12 years old, skipping class was unheard of, and Kimberly was known to be a very shy gal. Lake City Police conducted a thorough search for Kimberly, but to no avail. Authorities urged the public to come forward with any information. The sinister, charming serial killer, I think charming is a bit much, but Ted Bundy lured Kimberly into his vehicle and took her to a remote area where he sexually assaulted and murdered her. Nearly two months later, on April 7th, 1978, Kimberly's body was discovered in a wooded area near Sewanee River State Park, approximately 30 miles from Lake City. Bundy was eventually apprehended and charged with Kimberly's murder, among other heinous crimes. In 1980, he stood trial for her murder, was found guilty, and received the death penalty. On January 24, 1989, Ted Bundy faced the electric chair at Florida State Prison, putting an end to his horrifying spree. Please keep Kimberly Leach and all the lives taken by Ted Bundy in your hearts and minds. It is crucial to learn from these tragedies and strive to create a safer world for all of us that live within it. As always, thank you for watching another episode of True Crimes with Rick Shea Rains. Take care of each other and be careful out there.